At 9 a.m. Eastern Time on January 20, 2021, the 45th U.S. President Donald J. Trump left the Oval Office, officially ending his term. He left in an Air Force One plane, already an unusual choice of vehicle for the occasion, as the transition of power is usually commemorated by the previous president leaving in a non-Air Force One-affiliated plane. The choice of song for the occasion had CNN anchors amused, Frank Sinatra's My Way, which of course builds to the lyric, and more, much more than this, I did it my way. One of the anchors calls the choice surreal, perhaps surreally appropriate, and another jokes, what's wrong with Gloria? Referencing a video in which the Trump family appears to be dancing to Laura Branigan's 1982 hit song Gloria while watching the violent assault on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, laughing and celebrating, a theory that has since been disproven. Yahoo calls the song choice on the nose, The Guardian calls it painfully fitting, and Deadline calls it inevitable. However, if some Sinatra had his way, the song probably wouldn't be associated with the 45th at all, though Trump very publicly used the tune before at his inaugural ball. In 2020, Mia Farrow, who was briefly married to Sinatra, tweeted, Frank Sinatra would have loathed Donald Trump. Sinatra's daughter, Nancy Sinatra, weighed in. He actually did loathe him. Nancy Sinatra also added in 2017, after the song was chosen for the inaugural ball, just remember the first line of the song. The line in question, and now the end is near. Other songs Song selections during the event included Macho Man and YMCA by The Village People, Fortunate Son by Credence Clearwater Revival, Funeral for a Friend, Love Lies Bleeding by Elton John, and Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Frank Sinatra may have been doubly upset by the very public association of the song My Way with the 45th president's career, marking the start and end of his term. Because not only did Sinatra dislike the man, he also disliked the song. As another of his daughters, Tina Sinatra, told BBC News, in 2000, decades before Frank's opinion of the song could be taken as a political statement one way or another, he loathed the tune. Apparently, he was big on loathing. Tina Sinatra explained, He always thought that song was self-serving and self-indulgent. He didn't like it. That song stuck and he couldn't get it off his shoe. We also have Frank Sinatra's hatred of the song professed firsthand by the man himself. He once said at Caesar's Palace, I hate this song. You sing it for eight years, you would hate it too. He later added in Atlantic City, I hate this song. I hate this song. I got it up to here with this goddamn song. As if all that weren't clear enough, he even once introed the song at the LA Amphitheater with, and of course, the time comes now for the torturous moment, not for you, but for me. Now, more than two decades after his death, My Way is still the Sinatra song we're talking about, much to the ghost of Sinatra's chagrin, presumably. The Twitter sphere erupted with comments about the song choice. Author and CNN commentator Keith Boykin captioned the shot of Trump leaving to My Way with, This series finale of the Trump reality show has been written, directed, and produced by Donald Trump himself. Lincoln Project co-founder George Conway tweeted, The My Way soundtrack couldn't be more comical. Twitter personality Kenny Booyah posted, Priceless to hear the CNN crew laughing at Trump flying away with Sinatra's My Way blaring in the background. The last act of the circus. Former member of parliament in the UK Anna Subri tweeted, Utterly surreal. Trump takes off to My Way. CNN and the world collapses in disbelief believing laughter. Meanwhile, CNN anchor Don Lemon, who has been insulted by the former president on Twitter in the past and who was very moved when the Biden-Harris ticket won the election, was struck by another of the former president's song choices. He tweeted, A one-term, twice-impeached president who incited a racist insurrection on our capital boarded Air Force and left D.C. with the village people singing YMCA in the background. Yes, we watched that happen. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities and lifestyle tips are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.